Hi, my name is Dr. Neelam Palmer and I work as Director of eLearning. Today I'm going to show you how as an educator you can access your school website toolkit via the ViewSonic digital whiteboard. The ViewSonic digital whiteboard solution includes ViewBoard hardware and my ViewBoard software. As a teacher, we use a number of key applications that are relevant to our teaching for different year groups. The beauty with all these applications is that they work seamlessly with one another. Both teachers and students can create interactive lessons and spark student creativity using tools such as Sway. Ultimately though, both teachers and students can create, share and even collaborate in real time using Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote and OneNote Class Notebook without ever worrying about losing their formatting. This makes it a powerful suite of tools. For this demo, I'm going to show you Shobi. For those of you who don't know what Shobi is, it is a virtual classroom in which teachers can assign, collect and review student work. I have found that the best way to access the school toolkit is to use my own personalized view board. You can do this by first opening my view board and then the embedded browser within it. You will then see a selection of bespoke applications that are relevant to me as a teacher or for my school. There is Kahoot, Nearpod, Shobi, Seesaw and all the other relevant tools required in my teaching. This makes it really easy to get to one's toolkit without having to go hunting for them within a lesson. I'm going to go ahead and click on Shobi and into my Year 5 lesson. I should already be signed in and can bring the dynamic information into my ViewSonic area. You will see that I have virtual classrooms for many of my year groups. I have Year 3, Year 4, Year 5 and Year 6. I can easily navigate into my classes and work collaboratively with the students while they are on their tablets or notebooks. If we were to go ahead and look at the chicken and egg homework within my Year 5 group, you can see that I've asked the class to draw and label the chicken egg in the Explain Everything app and then to further explain the functions of each part within the voice recording. So that's my Year 5 class. If I then go into the chicken and egg lesson plan, I can then look into my shared items and as you can see, I've asked the students to complete the worksheet attached using their Explain Everything app. Using the Shobi toolkit, I'm going to open the attached worksheet and annotate on it as I would like from then. It is possible to split the screen into two and to have more than one browser running on the screen so that as a teacher you have access to all the tools that you require at any time. So let me show you how you can do this. You can click on this little grid like icon over here which then brings it into a small browser mode and then go back into the web browser, select another browser mode, click on the grid icon one more time and then move the separate browser to the other side of the screen. You can open as many browsers as you want to have a multi-screen effect. Thank you very much for watching. For more information, please go to education.viewsonic.com.